What's good with all my troops? It's your boy 529 Dev, aka the Lieutenant, and I am back with another video, man, as y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail. Today, I'm gonna be running down the top five places to shop in New York City. There's gonna be a lot of consignment shops, thrift stores, stuff like that, but I'm definitely gonna get y'all right. I know y'all be shopping in the city, but y'all don't really know where to go type it. So yeah, y'all know I be getting fly. I be in the city all the time. So I know the low-key spots, I know all of that. Yeah, you shopping with a New York nigga, so what do you expect? While we here, we might as well run it down. Up top, I got this thrifted thermal. Y'all can read it, y'all see what it said. I got this beige jacket that I also thrifted. A leaks chain, man. Regular black jeans. Y'all see the easy boots. I love these boots. I be rocking them a lot, I'm not gonna lie. They in my rotation, crazy. And then just a little bit of rings. Yeah, on some fire shit. It's a really, really nice day, I'm not gonna hold you. It's the nicest it's been in a long time, bro. Spring is around the corner. Feel good to be outside. So let's get straight into this video, man. Let's go. First spot right here. As most of y'all know, I really be at Second Street a whole lot. And there's a line out here, bro. This sh crazy. Pull up in here, bro. They gonna get you right with red chrome hearts, but Lancy, all that. I'm not gonna lie, these been sent for a minute. Pulled up a while ago, they had these here. Raps right here is pretty tough, I'm not even gonna lie. Nice little Marcellus, got some helmet. PBFM sweater. I'm not really a fan of the lows, but I'm just showing y'all that they really got leaks in here, bro. The whole front area, as y'all can see, is basically like all the designer pieces. So obviously they're gonna be more high-end when it comes to prices. But then when you come to the back over here, they basically just be throwing everything together. And this is where you're gonna find stuff for a pretty good steal. It's more of like a thrift realm, if you get what I'm trying to say. So yeah, we're gonna look around back here too. I'm gonna show y'all some fire shit. Right here, they got some vintage tees. Not really my bot. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Minimal be clickbait crazy. Almost thought these was rigged. So the $16 price tag. Sheesh. That's tough. Somebody gotta say it. So I'm gonna be the one, two. Minimal, you gotta chill out, bro. I would dead cop this, but for the 230, man, I don't know. Actually, I do know. It's a hell no. Dead ass. You looking for flavors on the Converse, man? Pull up. No cap. Got the cheetah print. You feeling freaky? Glitter boots. Nah, this is the old dude. Found this little bait piece. Oh no, it got a little crop fit. I think I like it better when it's more like. No, I lose. That's okay. Yeah, that's it. This shit hard like that. I don't know. There's definitely something I actually like cop. So we're gonna see. Put this on as a backpack, bro. That's kind of old dude. I did haven't cop some big shit in mad long, bro. I feel like that baby hype as hell but this i feel like it's some different i'm not even gonna lie so i might end up copying it got the cabin button up and these shorts i rocked with the shorts i'm not gonna we got this little panel right here the blank the pink splatters bro i just found some so tough i put down the bait jacket i'm not even gonna show y'all to the end of the video so make sure y'all stay tuned because this is hard bro if i had to put down that bait jacket y'all saw how much i was Y'all know it's heat. Bro. This video is long, long overdue. Y'all know I'll be getting fly and I'll be in the city all the time. So it's only right that I put y'all on so that way I could get fly too. My lawyers that be watching my videos and vlogs like that, y'all know I'll be showing y'all the spots when I'm going there. So if you pay attention, you definitely could get right too. But this for everybody that don't really be paying attention. And I gotta feed this spoon to you type shit. So for the second store on the list, which my lawyers that be watching my previous videos probably know about. But it's actually called Tokyo 7. <laughs> I never actually copped anything out of here, but every time I go in there, I see at least one or two things that I actually might cop. But I just end up not pulling the trigger for real. But hopefully today I could find something that's actually worth copping for real. We here right now, so let's go. Nice slow Alexander Wang piece, boy. Not gonna lie, I'm not the type to rock this old blue though, but the structure is pretty hard. Man. I just peeped the rigs. I didn't even see these. Beat to the ground. Them is too beat. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not letting another person beat my feet. If you see me with beat sneakers on, just know I'm the one that did the beating, bro. Got the product cloud bus. Oh, I actually like this colorway, the black and the orange. Only 300 too, bro. That's a steal for sure. I got these at the crib, but I really haven't even put these into my rotation for real. They jacking 120 for these, bro. That's crazy. 
It looks brand new too. These are so hard, bro. Oh my goodness. I literally just saw these 200 too. So as y'all can see, I just left out of Tokyo 7. They really ain't have much, bro. But the thing is with me shopping today, I really don't want to pick up any more tops because I really need to put some more pants or just bottoms in general into my arsenal. So that's really what I'm shopping for today. So it's basically like I just have to just pass up on all the tops I find. Even if it's fire because there's no point in me spending bread on it, bro. I have mad tops at home that I just can't find bottoms to piece with them. So with that being said, I'm gonna just keep looking for bottoms. Each store I show y'all. Y'all see I had to throw in a little Mon Cleasy goggles. Feel me? It's sunny as hell. But hey man, for the third store, we about to head into L Train Vintage. This is definitely a thrift shop that's on the list. A lot of them were more like consignment stores and stuff like that. So if you're looking for thrifts in New York City, definitely head over to L Train Vintage. We're gonna see what they got. I'm gonna show y'all around just so that y'all can get a gist of what they got in there. But yeah, let's go. I get it. Like I know niggas love their car hard, man. 25 beans. If you're looking for like regular washes and vintage denim, they got a whole bunch of Levi's that you could cop from here. Got these. Good leather jackets. Alright y'all, so I just dipped out of L train. I only got one pair of pants. Y'all see on the screen, they had mad vintage tees. Pants too, they had Levi's with that vintage look to them, man. I don't know if they was really old or not, but yeah. So if you're looking for that vibe, then go ahead and shop at L train. I was just telling bro, I'm really not here to shop for real. I'm just showing y'all where to get right. But if I come across stuff, then obviously I'm gonna get it. If I end up getting a calm amount of pieces, then I'm gonna just show y'all at the end of the video. Like I said earlier, so stay tuned, man. Hey, we in the middle of the city. Bobby is how I got two more stores to show y'all. Hopefully I could put the stores I already showed y'all so far into you. Telling y'all, man, check it out. I know y'all looking for stores, bro. All right, gang, so the fourth store on the list is actually called Buffalo Exchange. I be finding a good amount of things in here. They got an OD variety, so whatever vibe you going for, you definitely gonna find something in here, bro. I promise y'all. Let's head in here and see what it's talking. These paint splatter pants, low key cold, 26 beans. They way too big for me, my boy. Like I told y'all, I do need pants, so I'm gonna keep looking around this rack. I know spring coming up, but they definitely got a whole lot of good jackets if you wanna prepare for next season type shit. And plus, y'all know how bipolar New York weather gets, so it might be cold upcoming. You gotta be prepared for that, bro. That's a fact. But speaking of sweaters and jackets, this sweater right here is fake cold. Give me Easter vibes, crazy. Y'all know I'm not some colorful nigga, so I really wouldn't pull a trigger on that, but it's tough though. <laughs> If I was going for that box, man, yeah, I would cop. I'm not gonna lie. It's only 40 beans. Like I said, it's getting hot. So I'm finna take a look at some tees. And if I find some fire, then I'm gonna just show y'all. As far as tees, I don't really see nothing. But they always get new clothes. So today, I can't really just judge them off of one day. They probably gonna have some flock in tomorrow that they didn't have today. You feel me? They got a section just for the accessory. Oh, scars. Hold on. All right, y'all. So for the last and final store of the day, we finna head into Beacon's Closet. Now this again is pretty similar to Buffalo Exchange, but hopefully there's some differences, bro, because I ain't see in there. Even though they usually be having stuff, today was just a bad day, I guess. Y'all know I always be saying thrifts are always hit or misses, so you just gotta try your luck for real. I just be coming over here with my fingers crossed, hoping I'ma find something. So yeah, we finna head into this store. Hopefully we get lucky, and hopefully we find some clothes. Cause y'all niggas know I only got like two things, even though I'm happy with my purchases, but yeah, we finna head in there, let's go. Ordered tops, outerwear stuff over here, hoodies, jackets, we got vests, feel me, all types of stuff. I'm not even gonna look through all of this because I told you I don't even need tops for real. But if you need to get right, come to my boy. Alright y'all, so we just came out of Beacon's closet. I found one pair of pants. There was a whole bunch of tops. I showed you guys some of them, but like I've been telling y'all, I need to find pants, but I really don't need tops in my collection right now. Only way I'll be copping that is if I found some actual flop, but I didn't. So yeah, I just got a pair of pants. I ain't seen nothing too crazy. But like all the stores, I be telling y'all, bro, you just gotta go in there. You might find something one day that I did not see. So it's all about luck, to be honest. And just looking through each store, bro. But like I said, that was the last store. I'm finna head home now just so that I could show you guys everything that i got everything that i picked up but yeah man enough with all the token let's go 
Alright y'all, so I'm back at the crib right now and I know I already ran down the top 5 places to shop in New York City But I just wanted to run down my pickups throughout the day It wasn't much like I told y'all, I really just went to the stores to showcase all the items for you guys Just so that y'all knew what type of stores I was showing y'all But if I saw certain things that I liked throughout that process, obviously I'm not gonna pass up on it So with that being said, let's get straight into the pickups Just know, I'm saving the best for last So the first couple pieces are just gonna be calm right here We just have these regular flat gray Levi's As y'all can see by the tag, they're 5'11's which means it's like a straight slim fit i get these type of levi's often just because i like the way they fit on me i just saw these in this gray and just like black they really could just go with anything so why not just pick them up they weren't too much only 15 beans and these are actually something that i picked up from l train vintage so yeah like i was telling y'all while i was there they have a whole bunch of levi's a pretty wide variety i'm not gonna lie so if you're looking for some vintage levi's for the low that's definitely a spot to hit next up we have a pickup from beacon's closet and this pair of pants right here is not too crazy at all it's just a regular black pin nothing going on throughout the pin the reason i got them though is because they're black and you simply can't go wrong and also the material of them i feel like it fits well in that tech wear category so if i wake up one day trying to put a fit like that together i have a pair of pants that i could piece that outfit together with but yeah nothing too crazy basically an essential like i said beacon's closet only 20 beans all right so for the last and a final pickup of today we have something very special in my opinion and i'm gonna be honest the last pants i just showed y'all were but because of this jacket. So that should give y'all a hint that this pickup right here also fits under that tech wear category. I don't know if y'all ready for this, man, because I feel like this jacket right here just fits my style so well. It's a brand that I've been eyeing for a little minute, but I never really found anything that I felt was worth pulling the trigger on. But finding this piece in the store, I just felt it was meant to be, man. I just had to. So enough with hyping the piece up. You can see right here, we have this CP Company jacket. From the front, y'all probably looking at me like, what the hell is so special about this? But if you know the brand CP Company, then you know i'm finna throw over the hood for y'all and as you can see we have the goggle jacket so if you guys are not familiar with the cp company goggle jacket once you throw up this hoodie the goggles basically sit up here i'm gonna throw it on for y'all just so that y'all know exactly what i'm talking about so once you unclip these like this the goggles basically sit over your eyes and you literally have built-in goggles with your hooded jacket the quality and feel of this jacket is just insane y'all can see the zipper string reads out cp company and then you have these drawstrings right here i'm not sure the technical term for this little lock right here but back when i was in the sneakers and all that back in middle school i used to call these lace locks when i found them on my sixes five shit like that that shit just unlocked memories crazy bro if y'all don't know like a lot of younger kids i was into sneakers heavy bro i really ain't care about clothes like that now it's literally the whole opposite i really could care less about my footwear it's really about what i'm putting on so i'd much rather have a whole bunch of clothes than a whole bunch of sneakers a little low of topic so anyways getting back into this jacket you guys could see we have this long pocket on each side these little panels right here which i'm not too sure if they serve any purpose or if it's just for the look clips at the end of the sleeve to tighten it up if you want basically just to fit it to your body type and whatever you prefer coming inside the jacket you can see the tag right here obviously reading out cp company you guys can see the inner liner and then we got some more tags right here protect cp company goggle jacket and then we have a pocket inside yeah but overall i love this jacket i'm pretty happy with the purchase if you know then you know but if you don't know all you gotta know is that it wasn't for the cheap and i'm gonna just leave it at that and that's basically it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy the top five places in my opinion to shop at in new york city if you're looking for thrifted clothes used pieces and stuff like that this list will definitely help you out but obviously you got to be located in new york if you guys watch this video and end up hitting some of these places come back and let me know what places you guys went to and your opinion on it i read all the comments so don't be shy to leave your thoughts down below my instagram is always in the bottom corner of all the videos so if you guys don't want to comment hit me up on there you guys can let me know video ideas if you guys want to see something specific but all that being said i just want to end it off with saying that i really do appreciate all y'all that show me love and support oh yeah and i took flicks in the fit from today put them on the gram so go ahead and check those out i love y'all for real it's been your boy 529 dev fly up becoming youtuber and until next time i am out peace